Hey guys, Shaver1000 here with a new toy. Let's check it over together. Okay guys, that's what I got. I had an old uh, Nissan uh, two-cylinder, eight horsepower uh, outboard engine had the boat motor I didn't really have it for sale but a guy stopped and asked me about our boat over here and of course I told him it wasn't for sale and um, we got to talking and he said he was looking for a boat motor that's why I got one if you're interested in it you know needs a little work but I guarantee it'll run I had it hanging right over here and uh, he liked it, and we was talking some money. I said, well, you know, I'm up for a trade on it because it really wasn't for sale. So I asked him what he had, and he told me he named off a couple things. And so I was like, yeah, I'd be kind of interested in that uh, little 50. It's a little 50cc, 49cc, whatever. I think it's a 50. But uh, he said, yeah, he said, I'll go get it. He went and got it, and now I've got it. So... We need to check it over. First thing you got to do, I I was taught a long time ago, before you start something, make sure it stops. You got to stop it. So let's check the brakes first. And yeah. Okay, so it's in neutral. It's a little three-speed. And all the gears are down on it, on this one. You go all down, no up. When you're in third gear, you go down again and... I guess you're in neutral. You can shift up, but, uh, uh, so, like, if you keep pushing down, it'll, it'll finally go into neutral. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but once you're in third gear, I think you can pull up on it and put it in second. I'm not sure about this one. I don't even know what year it is. But, let's get a battery set up. And, uh, I got one sitting here from the video I did earlier. So, I'm just going to give it a shot and let's see, Bruno, you don't know how to work on that. Let's see if we can, uh, see if this thing will fire up for us, all right? So, let me get you in a stand. Okay, guys, we know for a fact that the, um, that the brakes work, so let's hook this up to this battery and see if we can get it to crank over. And if we can, then we'll do something different. Alright, we got, let's see. It doesn't have a key switch, so I don't think the button's going to work, but let's try the button out. Okay, so. Without that key switch, we can't use the button, but let's, see. let's hook it up to the, directly to the starter. That thing ran. That thing ran, guys. Holy crap. Don't even have a tank on it. Must have had some fuel still in the, uh, still in the bowl of the carburetor. Alright, well, let's do something here. Let me zoom in a little bit. I got some mixed fuel right here. And what we're going to do, is we're going to, we're going to put some gas down in here. Holy shit. Well, I love it when stuff like that happens. Wow, that carburetor looks good, guys. I got this uh, fuel mix here. Try to get some to go down into the bowl. Put some down in there. Let's see what happens. He said it run. And I said, well, as long as it's not locked up. Well, it doesn't have a kick starter or a pull start. It's just electric start. He gave me the battery with it. But, of course, it's no good. It needs a battery and key switch. And uh, but he says, I, gu I guarantee you it'll run. I said, well, you know, you didn't hear the, the boat motor run. I said, well, as long as it ain't locked up, I'm good with it. And I figured, if anything, I could sell some parts off of it. 
So let's back you out here. Let's see if we can get this. Let's see if it'll fire up again. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Well, okay, so it runs. Um, we got the gas tank for it there, but he said it's missing the pit cock. That's where the shutoff goes. That's where the fuel line goes. But I'm going to see if I can't rig up a tank or something on here, a small tank, you know, maybe out of something. A little weed eater tank or something. And let's see if um let's see if we can get it to run longer than that. So yeah, let's let's see what we can do. Okay guys, so what I did, I poured some gas in the fuel line and it started running out the overflow hose. So I'm thinking the uh the float is stuck in the carburetor, so let's pull this carburetor off of here. I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on. There's the carburetor, and there's the bowl right there. So let's pull this carburetor off. Alright, let's take it over on the bench and we'll pull the bowl off of it and see what it looks like inside there. Okay guys, back. Let's pull this bowl off of here. Now what I did was I blew through the line and turned it upside down and it stopped. So it might have just been, just had a little piece of dirt in it. Um, but the bowl was full, the, the bowl was full, had fuel in it. Gotta be careful because I don't have a another gasket to put on this if I break it, so I got to be careful. See that little rubber gasket there? Gotta be real careful with that. All right. Yeah, there was something in there. Let's look. Yeah, it's a little while. Uh, why is it so blurry? Yeah, it's got some gook down in the bottom of that. See, that's kind of sticky right there. And right there. So I think that was holding it down. So... All I'm going to do is spray this out, clean that off the bottom of that, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so what I did, I got my carburetor cleaner out. I took the hose off this. Um, it's just some, just some gook in there. Uh, it turns into like a, almost like a lacquer, like a paint thinner type thing. So we're going to set it in this bucket. I'm not going to do the whole carburetor because I don't think it needs it. And we're going to leave this set in here for about half an hour. In the meantime, I'm going to clean this off the off of the float and make sure there's nothing in it. 
In fact, I think I'll just take the float out. You just all you need to do is push this pin. I know you guys can't see much through this camera, but uh, Monkey used to. I gave her a good one to take with her to her grandson's. Uh, he had a uh, his little graduation thing today. Let's go ahead and pull that off of there. Plus, that that'll let us know if it's leaking or not. So. It's just a little pin. You just push this through. And then pull the pin out this side. Now your needle valve's in there. You don't want to lose it. There's the little needle valve. We're going to set this up there. Now we're going to set this in here and see if it floats. And it's floating. See that? So, just kind of dip it down in and make sure it comes back up. And it does, so there's no holes in it. Usually these plastic ones are pretty good. See, that, that stuff's coming right off. So, let's leave that stuff sit in there for about 20 minutes to half an hour and we'll see, we'll see how, good it, how good it turns out. I need to get me an ultrasonic cleaner. That way I can do a whole carburetor if I have to, but all right, let's leave it set and we'll be back and uh, we'll throw this back together, throw it back on the bike and uh, fill the bowl up, see if it'll run. Okay guys, this is how it came out. I blew it all out with compressed air. I also uh, took the jets out, that jet and that jet. I took them out, cleaned them as well. So, let's get this back in here. I shouldn't have any issues now. Put our little little shut off valve in there. Float valve, rather. Okay, now that's in there. Now, when we turn it up like this, we should be able to blow through it. And we can. If we turn it like that, we shouldn't be able to. And we can. So there's that. Let's get this back on here. like that now, I wasn't able to come up with a uh, I wasn't able to come up with a, a tank but I figure once we fill this bowl up with fuel it should run so I'm going to go over and I'm going to throw this back on. It's just the, just everything's backwards. It's just the two bolts, you know, and then your, your slide. So I'm going to put this back on and let's see how it runs with a bowl full of fuel. All right. Fill this up with some fuel. Okay, now, let's fire it up.
right. <coughs> so there you go. Pretty cool. So guys, there's the new toy. Um, should be able to make a couple bucks on it. I'm going to get a tank hooked up and uh, let it run for a little bit. It needs run. I checked the oil. The oil's fine. So run it through the gears and see what's going on. Make sure the transmission's good. And we should be good to go. So more on this later. Thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Take care.